attribute data types. So, what are the data types are there in DTD for attributes? One is C data enumerated ID IDRF IDRFs okay NM token NM tokens notation notation entity entities so these are the data types possible to use for attributes okay in the previous examples already are using c data okay but once again observe about uh, c data and other data types so first how to declare one attribute ATT list space element name attribute name attribute data type attribute specifier and other information other information so this is a syntax already you know so when we are creating an attribute here we are always working with what attribute data type ok here these are the data types possible to use so now observe how to use c data for example our DTD is available like this element employees employee plus element employee ok employee element I am taking as an empty element now I want to define some attributes for employee ATT list element name is employee attribute name EMP number ok here the data type I am using as C data character data next the specifier I am using as required you know required is indicating what it is a mandatory attribute next ATT list employee name C data as required ATT list employee salary C data as required so in this example I have total three attributes EMP number name salary these three attributes here I am declaring with which data type C data if any attribute data type is a C data then we can use the attribute value as any character any character ok so you can write employee number is equal to 101 now it is treated as a character only character data you can use EMP name is equal to something and you can use salary is equal to something so like this simply there are no restrictions for character data but restrictions are there for other data types ok so you can use a C data like this ok similarly to C data how we are using other data types now understand you know here what are other data types are there C data C data stands for character data ok if any attribute data type is C data the value you can use any character now I am coming to enumerated what is the use of enumerated ok to understand enumerated data type one small example observe ok now I am going to be writing as an internal DTD internal DTD means within the XML only are writing the DTD rules doc type space for example here I am taking one element like payments here I am going to be writing DTD yeah my element name is payment payments 
for payment child element is suppose payment plus element payment payment I am taking as empty ok now I am going to be writing attributes attribute list attribute for payment element suppose attribute name is payment type attribute name is payment type ok here attribute data type I am going to be using as enumerated actually if you want to use enumerated data type enumerated data type here we can use this function brace here what are the values are allowing by payment type that list of values we can specify ok for example here payment type is dd check or cash so now observe this is acting as your enumerated data type if any attributes any attribute data type is enumerated data type data type is enumerated then the attribute allows then the attribute allows any one of the value any one of the value from the specified list means here the payment type is a enumerated type so the payment type value either dd or check or cash so any one of the value is allowing by payment type here like dd or check or cash so anywhere if you have a requirement to allow only a particular value from the specified list then we can go for what enumerated types ok so now observe next here the specifier I am using as required required so in this example I have only one attribute what is that attribute payment type its a data type is what enumerated enumerated data type is always used for which purpose to specify list of values and the enumerated type attribute allows any one of the value from this list ok so how we are writing xml now understand payments payment here the attribute name is payment type is equal to here I am using payment type is equal to dd some another attribute with a diff, uh, payment type is equal to check suppose I am using close payments you know already your payment is what empty this is not allows any child element and not allows any text data but your payment is allows one attribute what is that one payment type that payment type attribute only I am using in this xml ok now it is uh, valid or not once checked by using xml validator software for save payments dot xml now validate by using xml validator software payments dot xml xml validate yeah now it is valid ok here observe for example I am using the payment type is card actually here payment type allows only dd or check or cash only but what I am using here payment type is card it is a not available in that list so I am not using the payment type from that list so what happens if you are using a different value then what happens here one validation error will occur so what is that error observe value card for attribute payment type does not match its types defined 
in the enumeration or notation list. So, what is saying by validator software? This card is not specified in the enumerated list. Okay. So, payment type value must be used from any one of the value from this list. So, for example, I am using cash. Now, it is valid. Now, it is valid. Okay. So, if any attribute data type is enumerated, then that attribute allows any one of the value from this specified list only. Like this, we can create which one enumerated enumerated attributes. So, next you are understand enumerated data type is used is used to specify list of values. Next, the attribute allows allows any one of the any one of the value from the specified list. Okay. And how we are creating enumerated types here by using some value 1 or value 2 or value 3 like we are using enumerated types. Okay. Similarly, now how to work with id types understand when we are using any attribute data type is id the attribute value must be unique in the xml if any attribute data type is id the attribute value must be unique in the xml so for id type attributes the value is unique and uh, id type value should not uh, start with digits you can start with underscore or alphabetical letters a to z a to z so now one step about this id type for example, here doc type space students write the DTD, declare the elements students, student plus element student, student is also I am taking as empty. Now, I am going to be using id type id type attributes att list ok element name is student attribute name for example sid it is a data type is id and uh, suppose using of this attribute is mandatory so required att list student s name it is a data type is c data using is mandatory so required ok these two attributes are enough so how we are working with xml now understand root element is students child element is student for student elements what are the attributes are now possible to use sid and s name ok here sid data type is what id whenever an attribute data type is id the attribute value must be unique in entire xml document so here i am writing sid value like this nit101 is a student id student name like uh, ajay one more student 102 okay like vj close students now it is valid or not check once save students dot 
XML. First, clear all the old reports. Now, validate. Open students dot XML. XML validate. Now, it is valid. Now, on observe here, for example, I am using it is also be 101. Second student ID, suppose I am using as what NIT 101. Here the rule is ID attribute type value must be unique. Here I am not using unique. So, what is the error is coming? Validate. Here what is the error is coming? ID value NIT 101 has already been used. So, like this validation error is coming. Okay. Next one more point we discussed. When attribute data type is ID, should not be start with what digit. For example, here I am writing this ID value is 102. So, it is also be invalid. Here what is the error is coming check. Not valid. What is the error is coming now? Value 102 for attribute SID is invalid invalid name or nm token value okay now i am using nit102 i am starting with underscore so it is valid or not check xml validate yes now it is valid so when the attribute data type is id the id value must be unique in the xml first point and should not start with the digit but we can start with underscore or we can start with any alphabetical letter next term here one more point when attribute data type is id the value is allows underscore symbol and also allows iphone so check it is allows iphone or not xml validate so last report is what valid so it is also allows one special character what iphone but should not start with iphone in the middle we can use that iphone or we can end with the iphone but here other special characters are not allows for example here using plus it is not allows by id type here what it is saying invalid suppose if you are using some other special character like dollar it is not allows it is not allows here so here also be some validation error is showing validation error is showing value dollar for attribute SID is invalid. So, now observe here the value should not start with digit, but we can start with what underscore or alphabetical letters, but what are the symbols allows id type allows underscore iphone alphabetical letters and what digits digits but other special characters are not allows by id type and here should not start with the digit and also should not start with what iphone but we can start with underscore or any alphabetical letter this is id type okay in the next section we will discuss about the id ref data type Okay, thank you for watching.